Communist Mutants from Space was released by Starpath for the Atari 2600 in 1982. It's a fixed shooter, similar to Galaxian or Phoenix, where you have to blast all these aliens that come pouring down from the top of the screen. They'll start off in the form of these blocky eggs and hatch one by one, firing off their own occasional projectiles. All the while, the mother creature will continue laying more eggs, so the action is almost infinite because the creatures keep getting replaced. So you'll want to target the mother creature to prevent these things from multiplying and then clear the screen. The plot is absolutely hysterical. The manual reads, The evil ruler of the planet Ruski, <laughs> you see what they did there, has launched a diabolical attack. A cunning mother creature filled with irradiated vodka transforms helpless slaves captured on peaceful planets into bloodthirsty communist mutants. The commie mutants attack like crazy, wipe out wave after wave of them, and they keep on coming. And the more you vaporize, the nastier they get. You've got trouble. Wow, so in case there was any doubt that this game was made during the Cold War, this blurb should erase all of it. One of the cooler aspects of the game is the fact that you have an options menu, which is very unusual for a 2600 game. From here, you can adjust the amount of players between 1 and 4. You'll alternate. It's not a free-for-all, which certainly would have been interesting. You can choose the difficulty on a scale of 1 to 9. The shield option lets you unleash a temporary shield by pulling the joystick back, but you can only use it once per round. The time warp option lets you slow down time, or at least it puts your enemies into a slow motion and not you, making it easier to wipe out these cretins. Like the shield, you can only use it once per round. Penetrating fire means that your bullets will go through enemies so you can wipe out multiple commies in one shot, and the guided fire means you control your bullets after firing. You can mix and match whatever variations you want, and while other Atari games have plenty of variations, it's way more convenient to have this menu than it is to cycle through a series of number-coded variations. Now all the bells and whistles in the world won't be able to save any game if the gameplay sucks. Fortunately, Communist Mutants doesn't suck. In fact, it's quite good. The controls are responsive, the action is intense, and it's an easy game to pick up and play right away. The only thing you'll have to figure out is how to get the shields and time warps to work, which is easy enough anyway. It's otherwise very self-explanatory and simple, but still a lot of fun. The title may sound like a shitty, low-budget sci-fi movie, but it's a well-made shooter. If you let it slip under your radar, you really should give it a try. 